What's going on guys? Welcome back to Firewatch. In the previous part, a whole bunch of stuff happened, which I can't even get into. Um, basically, Henry, Henry got knocked out. We found out that somebody was keeping track of the conversations between Henry and Delilah. Uh, they had a radio, like this one. And we got knocked out. Now we're looking for help from the scouts. Uh, Collapse Bridge. The bridge to the camp is out. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. I mean, it's not that high. It's really not that high. You could just go like, boom, on that thing and then climb up there. I could do this. A child could do this. But, you know. Man. Really, we have to go through the ravine. I don't know how to... All right, maybe go this way? Uh, I feel like this could maybe lead somewhere. I mean, at some point, I think we're bound to find some way across, but let's see. Oh, that looks promising. Well, no, not really promising, but still. We can, pro we can get into the ravine from here easily. Damn it, Henry. I mean, I, you know, he's sort of out of shape. I get it. But, uh, there is a limit to, uh, how believable this really is. There's a tree over there that could be chopped down. But we don't have what it takes to actually chop it down. And we're not on the other side. So that doesn't help. Same story here. What is going on over here? Let's go this way. Alright. Uh, this doesn't look very promising. But uh, I guess this could be something. Nope. Alright. Dead end as well. What about up here? Wait, did we just check every possible way to get across this thing? I don't... Like, what do you expect me to do at this point? Can I just drop down here? I'm still looking for a way across the ravine. Well, there must be one. I mean, the firefighters made it from that camp to Ruby River. Yeah, but they're firefighters. I just feel like this should be something. Oh, it is. Here we go. I think I would have gotten strong enough to climb back up some of these drop-offs, but here I am, stuck. Yeah, well, we've all got our limits, Henry. There's a totem here. Look at that. Oh, look at this. We found it. This is definitely quite something. It looks deserted, though. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Uh, like what? What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the what? armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. What? Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Why is the Okay, so first of all, there is a campfire. Second of all, the game appears to think the campfire is over here? That's a bit weird. Also, that sign that we just saw, I'm pretty sure is a reference to Bloodborne. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever played Bloodborne, but I'm pretty sure this is in it. I think it's the uh, the old hunter's mark or uh, whatever it's called. I could be completely wrong. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the Weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. The hell's a Weeblos? What is that? Bear trap. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Ten to one, Richard Sturgeon. This is there is like a one to ten series here. Wish I could keep this though. All right. I mean that would look nice in my uh, my little bookcase, but uh, not an option, I guess. 
All right, let's see. Am I close to these? Uh... All right, gotta go this way, I guess. Because this is like the only path that I'm really... Oh, God. Maybe not. Okay, completely the wrong way. I am absolutely terrible at directions. This is embarrassing for everybody that knows me. All right, let's go this way. I just... Oh, look at that. We found our axe. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. There's a memo. And getting through that fence. Some, uh, trowel. There's a trowel. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for oh, God. poop. And I already touched it. Well. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Uh, us, me... I mean, come on. Very interesting. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Uh, okay. This all seems a bit weird to me. It just doesn't really make any sense to me. With the, the whole research thing? Why would they want to research these people? Chop it. Also, why would a, a researcher researching us uh, destroy a, a bunch of girls' tents and, like, steal their stuff, you know, destroy their stuff as well? I don't know. Something is fishy, though, Bear, that's for sure. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. Well, what? What just happened? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. What? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh, God. Day 77. What? Are you kidding me? What is going on in here? Thoroughfare Tower. This is Two Forks calling you for the oh, 50th time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, I went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? What? Uh, why are you so chipper? I didn't 
sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sun up. How are you so chipper? Look at all this. Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Oh, I get it. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. I get it. She's trying to tell me something because somebody else is on this, uh, on this line. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? I Let me do. Let look at it and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. There we go. Right over there. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Um, let's do this. Cottonwood. I totally get it. Here we go. Man, what is going on? Are we actually about to get any answers? Will Delilah be there? All right, so he's going to head south uh, from here, first of all, and then go west. So not towards the uh, the pork pond that we found earlier. All right, we went this way. Oh, God, am I being followed again? I better not, I better not be getting followed. I'm slightly paranoid because we're in the middle of nowhere. I feel like a, a lot of bad things could happen. This is what I what I talked about earlier. I would get extremely paranoid if I were in this situation. I know that much. All right, let's cross it. All right, so a little bit further south, if I'm not mistaken. I am not. All right, let's follow the trail south and then take a west. I'm not really sure what's going to be going on once we actually get to this uh, cottonwood area. It's supposed to be a creek, isn't it? Uh, cottonwood Creek, here we go. Let's check this out. What am I even supposed to be looking for when I'm here? Whoa, look at this tree. That is beautiful. I know this is not really, you know, the time to be taking pictures, but come on. Look at this thing. Big tree. He just marks this thing as big tree. All right, these are the trees that she was talking about earlier. Yeah, this place is also pretty magical. Beautiful. All right, what's next? Is there something here? Look at these flowers. All right, now there's got to be something here that she wants me to see. I'm guessing she can't be her uh, here herself. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. I see it. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. All right, so she's been here, and yet she didn't come to find me. That's 
All right. What is up with that map over there? It's all messed up. Three blind rats. Richard Sturgeon, but the cover's been torn. We also have a new radio. All right, so I'm not calling that in. Or the uh I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. Yes, we do. Are you okay? Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. Whoa, is that a ski? How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm scared. Uh, what about the other lookouts? Who is doing this? Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. Oh, wow. So, no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Uh, is this all in my head? I mean... I changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you, are you... Is any of this real? What? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just... Maybe I'm just losing my mind. What? Like Julia. And maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry. Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and... And you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry, Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. Henry, sweetie, I am real and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second and then call me back. I'm on your side. What? Okay, I feel like they're blowing this out of proportion a little bit. Like, they're panicking really hard. Like we should have panicked when I got knocked out. Hey. Uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. Uh, what is it? What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that... Why? Why? A few weeks back. Why would you do that? What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck. Lila. Fuck indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. I okay. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Or what to make of any of this. Maybe I'm wrong, and maybe this really is some big uh crazy uh conspiracy thing. Alright, let's keep going this way. All right, I just feel like, you know, they're out here in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing to do. And, like, the first hint of excitement, they instantly go, Oh, my God. It's a massive conspiracy. What? That was creepy as hell. I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. That was an elk or something, well, but still. it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Don't, don't do that. Oh, fuck. How about you don't do that again? Alright, still haven't seen a bear though, but that was definitely an elk. I've heard elk before. 
All right, let's keep going. We're almost at the lake. And from there, it should be a short hike to... All right, this Cripple Gulch. I want to just want to go to Wapiti Meadow and just find out what's going on over there. I would just like some actual proof besides me being knocked out and that cough on the radio and stuff that like something big is going on here. All right, go, go, go. Uh, all right, so we want to go west and then, you know, north. Yep. I am not wrong on this. Let's go. Uh, all right, let's climb up here. Wait, we haven't been here before, have we? Oh, right, this is the place with the campfire where... Okay, yeah, I got it. Totally got it. Campfire is still out, which is good. There's no fires, which uh, were caused because of me. Um, so that's nice. And we are at the lake. This is where we actually last saw those girls, I believe. Sure hope they didn't drown. Uh, because that would be kind of a bummer. Alright, let's see. This is Thunder Canyon. I'm not supposed to go here. I'm supposed to go north. Alright, definitely went the wrong way a little bit here. So we're supposed to go this way? Or maybe we still... Maybe we go like that. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I found it. Man, this game still feels actually pretty closed for an area that is all forest. Alright, Whoopity Meadow. We're gonna find you. Alright, we'll go east a little bit. So basically just follow this path. I guess we can just use the axe to... Uh... Alright, this is it, isn't it? Yep. I guess we just use the axe to break the lock. I mean, it's probably not an ideal solution. But, uh, what else can we do? Also, not really sure what we're gonna find there. Should I be worried? Look at these. Still very interesting. I feel like somebody did that. Alright, we're almost there. And this time around... I'm gonna open this gate. All right, get back, gate. I'm gonna open you up. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Yeah. Copy that. That's how we do it. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay then. What does it be? All right. What does this say? If you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he's on site from August to October. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government-owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area. Any issues, malfunction, okay, should be reported. Okay, whatever. I wonder if the, uh, the doctor guy is still on site then. Also, why is there not a little bridge? The, uh, the music is starting. Signifying that something big is about to happen. I am slightly worried. Oh, God. What are we going to find? It's almost night as well. 